Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers. Let's get the game going here with Perez Kuimori. We can keep it, we can keep it. Uh, it's not the best. It'd be nice to drop these virulence down first, but... Uh, Flusk. Okay, Flare Husk. Okay. Well, we're going to throw up uh, a plated to start. We may just put down the secluded steep tapped, depending on what they do. Is there a plane affinity, huh? Is that what we got going? Some ATOG affinity? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we get our forest. Uh, that's nice. That's actually really nice. Let's start getting poisonous going, shall we? And we'll play our other plated. Really get some heavy defense going here. Protect against uh, Galvanic Blast. Can still kill him, but... We gotta set up to get it out of range. A little bit. A little bit. They're about to drop some heavy creatures, so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, but having a double Viverlint turn, it'd be nice to get one more land so we can drop our Lord and our Viverlint next turn. That would be ideal ideal uh, but I'll, I'll take a Sidewinder and a Viverlint too it would just be nice to get a Sinew going altogether not a terrible hand for affinity and they're uh, they got a little bit of a slow hand so keeps it a little bit a little bit more evenly matched Yep. All right. Uh, that is perfect. So let's get this out. And we may see a snap can, see, uh, snap can seed coming in soon. I don't know if they'll want to deal with this board. I have to ping him for six poisonous. Mm -mm. Gotta love it. There we go. Make this go a little faster for us here. Oh yeah, come on. Let's go to game two. Let's go to game two. Draw some cards. Alright, there's one. There's two. There's three. Holy crap. Well, dang. Look at you. Uh, Sidewinder Sliver is going to help us out a lot, being able to attack in with these guys. Uh, but that is a good board that they managed to pull out there right at the very end. Uh, we're still in a very good position, though. Won't be able to kill their creatures, but we will be able to attack into them. Mm-hmm. We'd like to be able to cycle this land right now, but we won't be able to. We're not going to attack with our sinew. We're just going to swing like this. If they want to start 
double blocking Viverlance, so be it. I don't think they really have an option though. They need to like block everything here. I guess they can let one thing through. Yep. All the flankings will become into effect. Kill off their uh, flare husk. Nothing's gonna trade. Block everything. Still got five cards in their hand. Well, maybe they'll be able to come back here. Hope not. Was there a way... Yeah, if we attacked with our sinew, they could have double blocked and let one thing through. And went to nine and then killed our sinew. So I think that was still the right move to leave it back. I was just trying to think if there was a better way to uh, force her hand, but they still could have survived into this turn. But now we're still in some trouble. And I got cocky. I got cocky. Well, that's definitely going to get tossed onto something. I like the affinity matchup though. I think it's a good matchup for us. What else you got? Chromatic star, doing red. Mantle of tides, going in. Okay, they still need a creature. Okay. Well, let's help our creature survive a little bit, but I think we just win here. Don't see any other lines I can take to survive another turn. I can only block three things. So I think we're good. Scared me for a second there. Yep, all right, cool. Game two. Let's get our natural states. Oh, what else do we need in this matchup? Sunlance doesn't hit a whole lot. Cut and enduring. Guess we just want our journeys a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. We'll cut a winding way. Mm -mm -mm. We got 61 cards. Mm -mm. I guess a sentinel. Sure. Let's do it like that. Alright, they're on the play, more than likely. It's a bit awkward, but I mean, we can definitely keep the hand. We're on the draw, so maybe we'll get lucky and draw into a planes. Nope, but we do draw into a Viverlint. They will probably kill this, so... <laughs> Chances are this thing is not going to survive. Listen, after you get double poisonous against slivers, you, these things never survive. I'd be shocked. But these frog mites, man... Great early turn blockers. Insane. Thought 
outcast. All right. Trying to pull into a galvanic blast. Okay, okay. Red and galvanic blast. Nope, just another spring leaf. Okay. Well, they're going to have a massive turn. Uh, well, this is just their massive turn. One card in hand. I guess our stuff survives. Uh, but we got a lot of work cut out for us now. Mm, this blasting sand's gonna have to wait. I need to add stuff to the board. Pass. We'll keep adding lords and then we'll start doing journeys with these enforcers. All right, they can get a card draw. Let's see what else they add to the board here with this two mana. Oh, they're going in. Okay, shoot. Well, I'll be. Uh, we're going to take eight. Not happy about it, though. Looks like they want to race. Play that. Gain one life. Swing in for six. We're out here racing. That's all we can do at the moment. All right. Really need an untapped land. Be pretty nice here. All right, another mirror enforcer. Not great. What kind of shenanigans can you pull with my block here? Don't really want to take another eight. I'm just gonna block. They're, they may be setting up for something. We'll see. Do they play with mutagenics? Mutagenic growth. Oh, teamer. Well, yeah, we're just uh, we're just dead. Oh gosh, that's gnarly. I don't think there's a way we can win here. <laughs> Natural state. That actually could help us. So we journey the mirror enforcer. We swing in for nine. We hold up natural state. And take out their mirror enforcer. That's risky moves, but uh, I think we kind of have to do it like that if we want to set up for a win here. Yeah, we got to we got to try to set up for a win. Oh, but converted mana costs 3 or less. So we can't target the mirror enforcer. Well, shoot. We're going to have to chunk block with our Viverlance. And I guess we'll just take out their Prophetic Prism. we just mm, I guess we'll just take this out I don't know we, we can't target these it has to be converted mana cost to realize so we just got chump block with Viverlin if they try to attack in here hmm 
But if they have team... Okay, well, it's just a fling. It's just a fling. Can't do anything about that. They had the win already set up. Uh, I think I like what we had, though, so let's run it back. Not bad. That was, good. that was a good game. Alright. What would we like to play first? Yes, we would. We'll keep this. Alright. We're going to go plated into Sidewinder, into the Blossoming Sands, and then we'll start dropping our Lords. And hopefully they kept seven cards. Alright. Probably have a decent hand then. Sacrifice an artifact deals one. Okay, well, that's not pretty. That's gonna wipe our board kind of fast. Okay, good to know. Clark Clan Shaman. Hmm, we got to deal with you, huh? Or we just got to outpace you. Yeah, we just got to outpace it a little bit, I guess, for now. Frogmite. All right. It begins. They have insane turn twos. Oh, they're going for this now? Oh. Wait. What was the point of that? Did they mess that up? Ah, oh, they messed that up. I don't think they wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was what they wanted to do here. Because it killed their Car Clan Shaman. It didn't do squat to our team. I don't really know what their plan was, I guess. But I, I can imagine it didn't work out how they wanted it to. Swing in for four. We'll see if they can recover. Uh, they still can. I mean, it's still early enough where they can throw down a board still. They got five cards in hand. Uh, unfortunately, now we've got a natural state. We've got a muscle sliver. We've got some protection. We may even start, start just swinging in with this team for now until they start putting down, like, mirror enforcers. Prophetic prism. Okay. Depending on what they play. Okay, they're passing. Planes. Not exactly what I wanted to see here. Um, let's just try to get out of range of some stuff and go for some good damage while we can. We'll just shoot down the big threats with, uh, well... Shoot down what we can with natural state. They play it for free, and it makes me think the cover of mana cost is just nothing, but there's a mana cost there. Alright, they got six cards. I mean, they can still throw down stuff. There you go. There you go, there you go. Frogmite? Frogmite into what? Mirror Enforcer. Into another mirror enforcer. Here we go again. Again, flanking is going to help us just trade with these guys.
Hopefully this is all they can do, and then if that's the case, they can't afford to double block, and they just gotta chump block three of my creatures. Otherwise they'll die. So I'm just kinda hoping that they can't do anything else. Come on, Kamori. What you got? Draw those cards if you got it. Okay. So I think we are looking pretty good. We're just gonna hold up vines for protection. And... Let's see here, so I just want to make sure they can't double block. Yeah, they, they'll die if they double block, so we're swinging in. They gotta just chump. Teamer. Let's stop that from happening. Mm-hmm. That's happening. No teamer. That's a desperate move right there. Teamer on a block. That is a desperate move. And goodbye. And they go to three. And they have two cards left in hand. And I'm feeling pretty good. Yep. We got it. Good game. That was a good match. That was a good match. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you uh, want to see more slivers coming up this week. We've got more slivers on Wednesday. We've got some more Pioneer Demir Mill if there's any interest in that. We're going to be throwing up those uh, during the week as well. We've got one coming tomorrow. And probably... Probably another one Thursday as well. Um, so if you enjoy that, make sure to subscribe. Don't miss another episode and video. And we will see you guys in the next one.